bacon and Brussels sprouts cooking, quartered so Brussels. We're going to quarter the Brussels sprouts and we're going to saute them with bacon and the natural mm. bacon fat that's going to come out. And that's it? This is not yeah. it. We're going to take some brumoise shallots. I mean, or some it was really... it to that point. Oh, my apologies. Yes, it is. <laughs> So we're going to add some shallots, some really finely chopped shallots and some finely chopped garlic to it to accentuate the flavor. And at the same time, some chopped golden raisins. Oh, I love golden and raisins. There's the option here. I mean, you can soak golden raisins with a little bit of sherry wine or some white wine. Or orange juice. Orange juice. The orange is in the, the orange, duck. That's right, the oranges that you already took the skin off. Yeah. I knew this was going to work good. Perfect. So, there's a little bit of seasoning in that we're gonna need here, so a touch of salt and pepper, and then we're just gonna add enough to have the flavor come out mm. and stir them around. Can I hand this off to you? Oh yes, I'll, do. I'll our, take our care of that. The fun part's gonna happen okay. next here. The sauce, should I add the butter? <clears throat> not yet, let's oh, okay. hold off not, on that until we're just yet. about ready. Okay. So we're gonna add a bay leaf to this as well, just for the aroma. Mm. And then a little cooking technique here that we're gonna add, the Americanism, if you will, bourbon. Oh, yum. Again, we're going to revisit liquor. I think people okay. have a lot of liquor in the holidays. Are we going to ignite this? Of course. Let's ignite. What fun would it be if we didn't have oh, fire? Oh, yeah, we have to have a little fire here. Okay. All set? Woohoo! Do we have the fire department here? Uh-oh. But that's... Don't do this under... Don't do this underneath that one of those little fire detectors, okay? Or a smoke <laughs> detector. I did it once. We had the, you know, the whole gang there. So let's Good. burn this alcohol off so it's not doesn't have that bitterness, if you will. So yeah, just burning the alcohol, leaving the flavor of that good bourbon. That little bit of wood to it, mm -hmm. and it goes to great with the smoke of the, uh, of the bacon. A little bit of the wood from the wooden spoon, you mean? Well, the wooden spoon helps. <laughs> you know, we use rubber spatula. Can That's a lot of bourbon. Sauce. Look, it can, continues to burn. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. OK. What's, this is part of your three Bs of happiness, the bacon, the butter, the booze. It all works out. Your holy trinity of happy cooking in the holidays. Oh, and cr heavy cream? And heavy cream. Three quarters well, of a cup. this essentially is butter, but let's just, you know, it's too yes. cold to use butter right now. Mm. So let's take this, the Brussels sprouts. And put them in here? Let's put them in our earthenware dish. Okay. So our baking dish. And we're going to bake it for four, 15 Yum. minutes at 425. And this is aromatic. Mm. This is rich. But I guess to add a little bit more to it, let's add a little mm. crisp crust. And you know what? I smell one bay leaf. It is so fragrant. Yes. You can just smell and that. And it's that fresh bay leaf. Yeah. So to add a little leave bit that of crispness, in there? let's leave it in there. Let's, oh, should we put it in the center? Right there. Perfect. Slightly burned from the bourbon. Now, is that panko? Panko breadcrumbs. Ah. We'll add a little bit of crispness to the crust. And then we can bake this off again at 425, 15 minutes. Okay. 